Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. I'm um, feeling a little bit strange to be filming a vlog because I haven't actually filmed a vlog since we were on holiday. So although you've been seeing videos, I haven't actually picked up a camera since we left Venice Airport on Friday and it's now Thursday. That's a bit of a lie. I did do the grocery haul, didn't I? Um, but properly doing a vlog, haven't done one since holiday. It's been peculiar because it becomes so much part of your life that when you're not doing it, it just feels a little bit odd. But it wasn't intentional to not film. Um, it was more a case of the girls came down poorly, the younger two, with tonsillitis. I'm just gonna take a guess that they probably picked it up on the aeroplane on the way home and we've been doing so well with Felicity she hadn't had tonsillitis all winter and last winter she suffered a lot with it and they were saying that if she gets it a couple more times they're going to operate to take them out and then this next winter came around and she didn't get it at all and I was like yes she's finally grown into her tonsils and I think that still is the case I think she has grown into her tonsils because they were absolutely massive um but yeah she's just just picked up tonsillitis so they've been unwell which means that Felicity hasn't managed to go to school at all um this week which is not ideal but yes yeah, not the end of the world either um it's not the end of the world we are still doing our sort of like home education stuff at home nothing too major I'd hope to really get into it this week but with them being poorly that went out the window but we're still you know we're still doing something we're not just doing nothing um, yesterday was too hot though. Let's let's just have a moan about it. Wasn't it just beyond hot yesterday? <laughs> we took um, Summer, or I took Summer over to my mum's because my mum is doing the alterations on Summer's prom dress. So she's been looking after Summer's prom dress at her house because I was like, I don't, I don't want it in my house. It's it's too much of a responsibility. That dress cost a fortune, and having younger children around I was like mum can I keep it at yours um, and mum was doing the alterations anyway so there's me my mum and Summer the girls as well were out in the garden because I didn't want them to pass on any germs to my mum um, so I was like right you two sit in the garden and they're like it's so hot out here mum I was like oh goodness me um, and there's me and my mum Summer in this huge prom dress mum and me underneath it under all the layers trying to pin it up trying to measure it trying to get it to the right length realising that it's far more complicated than what we first thought it would be. There is five layers, five layers to her prom dress and they all kind of connect. It's not five layers that are all individual that you can just like turn each one up to the same measurement. It's kind of graded from the front to the back, it's longer at the back and the layers loop back on themselves. So it goes that way and then it twists and goes back again and oh it's, it's complicated it is so complicated so we were sweating like oh it's so hot <laughs> and I'd intended to take the kids fruit picking yesterday because on my way to my mum's after staying in, in the grocery haul that the fruit farm wasn't open yet I drove past and it was very much in fact open and Summer said oh yeah I saw a post on Facebook that it opened on Monday I said well you didn't share that information um, so I'm hoping there's still some fruit left but by the time we'd faffed around with Summer's dress I was not in the mood for 30 degree fruit picking so we came home and just chilled out for the rest of the afternoon the girls were feeling pretty rubbish with their throats but they seem to have woke up this morning and they're on the mend they're feeling much much better so we're going to head out and do some strawberry picking today and i haven't really got too many ideas what else we're doing today so follow along for the ride and um, i hope whatever you've all been up to this week you've had a nice one um i'm really really thankful for all of the views and the comments on the oh here comes Lissy loops on the holiday vlogs um, I'm really glad that you've all enjoyed them. It does make me want a holiday even more. Coming home, it was, it was, I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't without its stresses. No matter where you go, you're still gonna have the same stress, aren't you, when you've got a family? But coming home and editing all of the videos together did make me feel like, oh, it wasn't, it wasn't so bad after all. I'd quite like to go again, um, but yeah. Glad you all enjoyed them. I'm really thankful and appreciate all of those views. And I'm going to finish getting these girls ready and then come with us fruit picking. So we've just arrived at the um, strawberry fields and Summer spotted as we walked in a sign saying three pound entry per person includes a punnet of fruit. We've been coming here for years and it's usually you weigh your tub, then you click um, pick your fruit and then you pay for the weight of the fruit at the end. 
Now you've got to pay £3 per person for a small pot of strawberries. And I just said to them at the till, I was like, we might not eat four pots of strawberries. Um, but they said they've had to change it because of, not quite right darling, because of the way people were using the strawberry fields as a leisure place. He says they would come spend all day here um, and then they'd go out with a, no, no, that's not right, go out with a small tub of fruit. Um, so now we've paid £12 and we're going to hopefully find enough ripe fruit to fill four of these. And then, no darling, and then I might have to learn how to make jam because um, as we all know, strawberries don't last very long before, that one's okay, before they um, turn and we're gonna have four tubs. But I'm a little bit worried that we're not even gonna manage to fill four tubs because there's not a great deal of ripe strawberries here. I did just say to her, will I actually find four tubs worth of ripe strawberries? And she said yes, but um, that one's moldy. That one's not ripe. That one's not ripe. Right into the bush, oh my yeah. word, there's not a lot of good crop here, is there? Well, let's have a look. One in there looks okay, I can see. Oh, yes, yeah, no, that one's okay. You can pick that one. You found a good one? Good, good. Now we need to try and find 12 pounds worth of good ones. No, not quite, darling. Not quite ripe. You don't want them to be, um, not quite ripe, and you also don't want them to be going mushy. Good ones up here, is there? Let's see. They haven't even got one yet. <laughs> oh, that one's a good one. We can make a Victoria sponge. We could make a Victoria sponge, yeah. That one's a good one, Sienna. Do you guys want to do baking class with me for home education? Yeah! Ugh, that one's gone horrible, is not it? A bit not quite ready. No, oh, a bit further up, I think. I think I can find a great one. I think the one, next one along, what's look, this one like? Look, look, mummy. That one's a great one. I've found a great one. Look, look, uh -huh. look at this. Come on. Summer, I didn't mind. <laughs> she dropped it. <laughs> I think mine is the best. Well, it was Oh my god, that's actually really good. It was before you dropped on the floor. Let's go right to the end. Yeah. Oh, There's lots on this side though, look, that haven't even turned from flowers to strawberries yet. Sienna, if I give you Sienna's like the kid who gets a pick a mix and overfills it <laughs> to the point where like the lid can't go on. That's a big one, Lissy. <laughs> oh no. Right, Quick, pick it up. <laughs> Look, look. <laughs> look up there, look. Look in front of you now, Lissy. Put them in Felicity's Look at these ones, Liss. Yeah. Beside you here, look. Look at those. They are good ones. Put them in Lissy's pot. Felicity, hold your pot out. Right, so, so we've got three tubs of strawberries. Sienna's just having her first try. You're good? Mm. Tasty? Mm. They're really sweet. Are they? Yeah. So nice and sweet. Mm, they're delicious. Mm. They're nicer than ones you get from the shop, aren't they? Yeah, Mum. Yeah. Um, guess what? When we're home, we're going to go make a, a cake. And we're going to have cream, strawberry, cream, strawberry, cream, strawberry. Is it? Loads really? Of layers. Loads of layers. Yeah. Who are you making that cake with? Summer. Are you? And you and Felicia are going to make guns. Yeah, that's right. Me and Lissy are going to make scones, but Summer wants to make a Victoria sponge. That's a good teamwork game. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think you need to get to the end. You've got to get all the way to the bottom corner. Yay! <laughs> now you made it. You're not supposed to touch it. Get it to the top 
corner where you are now, Lissy? Huh? Can you get out to the corner where you are now? <laughs> yeah. Can you get up there? Yeah. Oh! And the other way? from the fruit farm I popped into the um, Audi on the way back and grabbed the ingredients that I know for definite that I didn't have at home so that we could make a Victoria sponge however one of those ingredients was butter and guess what I forgot and I left without I didn't pick up the blooming butter so I've got our um, usual butter from the fridge and I'm just going to use that and make do because I don't really want to have to go back out again I'm just looking for the um, attachments for the whisk but Sienna is going to make a Victoria sponge and I'm going to attempt to take a step back and let her get on with it herself and let her yeah let her take let her take the reins she's just currently carefully the water all over the side she's just are rinsing are they she's just rinsing off the strawberries um, but yeah I've just written out a simple step-by-step -step instruction on how to make a Victoria sponge I'm just getting out all the ingredients and all of the mixing bowls and such and I'm going to take a step back and let her lead and let her try and, um, and do this with me just supervising in the background. But I'm not very good at not being a control freak so I'm not sure how well this is going to go if I'm completely honest. You don't need to worry about driving Sienna. By the time we need to... Yeah, but by the time we need the strawberries, by the time we need the strawberries, they'll be dried all on their own because you've got all of the measuring and mixing and cooking yeah, to do. First of all, you need to read what's the first instruction. I'm gonna put the chair here. You put that chair there, yeah. But what's the first instruction? Um, you read it. No, yeah. that's the ingredients. This is the instructions. This one's very important. Number one. Three. Preheat Heat. Heat to 180. Preheat the oven to 180. Um, fuck, we need a timer on. That's it, I'll do that, shall I? I'm already not very good at this, am I? I'll, I'll do that, you should have done that. Right, one, eight. you might need help with this because all of the um, yeah. numbers have all rubbed off on the, um, on the oven. Here we go, so that's 150, 160, 170, 180. So there you go, 180. Just check no one's left any food in the oven. I don't think they have. Um, and then step number two. Now is where you've got to do some measuring. You've got to now measure out the butter and the sugar. So I've got you this white dish for doing the measuring and then this one for doing the mixing. And what is that egg one for? That's from whisking the eggs into. Okay. I think four. 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 Right, so we need, you tell me what we need. How much butter do we need? Um, 205. Um, 220. No, this is the 100. Oh, 200. This and is 25. the 10. 25. 225 of butter. I hate the butter. There's the butter. You're going to need a spoon. Uh, big spoon. Big spoon in there. There we go. And now you've got to dig out. Try not to dig out the crumbs where okay. the older kids have made toast and left crumbs in the butter. A whole spoon? It's probably more than a whole spoon, it's going to be quite a lot. It's going to be quite a lot of that butter. Can you do it? Mm, is that enough? Yep, yeah, chuck that in. It's not going to be enough though. How much is that? How much have you got so far? Uh, 43. And how much do you need? 225. That's going to be quite a lot of this butter. Mm. Right, hang on. Can I just can I just get rid of the crumbs? I really don't want toast crumbs in the um in the cake. Let's um get rid of that bit into the bin. Mummy, mummy. Yeah. I don't know why, but I can't go. Do it in my nose. I've got cold. It's hay fever. I expect because it's quite the pollen's quite high. She's probably Where's got a tickly hay nose. Fever? When the pollen from all the flowers and the grass. Oh, I'm going to start worrying, Sienna, that we're not going to have enough butter <laughs> with what we've got in this pot. Maybe I should have just gone to the shop. I'm not doing very well, am I? You're supposed to be doing this. Oh, hang on, 200. So try popping that bit in. Look at that. You could have got, oh, it was on 225, then it went down to 224. That will do, won't it? 
Yeah. Right, so we're going to put that Cause it is in there. people who don't want it. But we won't be able to make any scones until I go and buy some more butter. Yeah. Ready? And it goes. Plop. And now sugar. How much sugar do you need? It's the same amount, look. Um, 225. 225? That's sugar. That's the sugar. Shall I open it for you? I want a sugar party. A sugar party? Yeah, like Katie, like Katie have a sprinkle top, but a sugar party. Right, now pour you it. You need to do this one. No, no, you can do it. We'll do it together. Pour it gently and then stop when it gets to 225. You need to do that. Oh, what's it on now? I don't know how I could do it. You need to, you need to pull it up when I need it. And it's not, done. not there quite yet. What's it on now? 190 shell toys. 201. 201. 223. 44. 25. Perfect. Phew. Phew. You did it. Right now. Pull it in. Pull that in. Yeah. Uh huh. That gave you a lot of sugar, guys. That is. That is a lot of, oh, lots of sugar. Oh, it's before day. That is a lot of, lots of sugar. Oh, this is going to be noisy now. Now I've got to put these in. Guys, cover your ears up. Cover your ears up. I won't do it. I'll get this one in here. There we go. I'm doing this all on the own, Flitty. How do I turn it on? Push it up. I kind of got started on the bottom number and then worked our way up. We've gone straight to the sides and now it's all over my top. Well, you can have it. Do you read how many eggs do you need? Four eggs. Four eggs. I'm going to eat them. They're here. Oh, can I crack them? And you need to crack. I want to crack all of them out. Okay, there. crack those into there. Plus, these going to make scones. You. Well, once I've gone and got some more butter. No, I'm doing scones on my own. Yeah, she said with me, with mummy. Mm -hmm. You'll do scones with mummy. Like mummy doing this with me. Yeah. Try she not get any shell in there. Can you count them as you do it? One. One. I've got oh. no shell. No shell, good count. Right, next one. I've got eggy hands. Oh, quick. Awesome. What number is that? Two. Two. Two more. Oh. Yeah. What are they in a bit of shell? Oh gosh. <laughs> Never mind the fingers. <laughs> oh Sienna. Got it. Got it? Come over the side. Right, number. What's this number? Four. No, this is three. Three. Got two. No, I think you're good. I think you're good. Now number four. Perfect. Right, now you need a fork and give it a Can tiny... I wash my hands? Yeah, go and wash your hands. Good plan. And I'll find you a fork. Gently whisk them. And then it says, beat the eggs lightly, then add to the and sugar. That's it. Now we need to pull them, pull them in there. Oh no, my precious baby sugary. Oh, you wouldn't want to eat that now, would you? No. No. Right, pop that one to one side. Put that dish to one side, you don't need that anymore. And then, back to this. Now you need to make sure you keep this down. Can you do it five? No, let's do it to just two to start with. That's it, and then Keep it down, all the bones are clusters everywhere, and now we've got egg in it. Right, and then we're going to put that white one back on. This one. And how many grams does it say you need of oh, it's not self? Working. It's fine. I'll turn it back on a second. Self raising flour. How many? Two hundred and twenty-five again. Good, good, good girl. I think the um, battery keeps falling out because there's no back on it. There we go. And then you need right? self raising flour. How much? Oh yeah, two hundred and twenty-five. Two hundred and twenty-five. Oh yeah, I need height value in these. Okay. Because 
the, the butter was easy, but this one is harder because it. Got yeah, you don't want flour if you're ready. Eh? Right, you ready? You tell me when we're there. Next job, sieve this. Shaky, shaky like cakey. Sieve, 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 sieve. It's shaky, shaky like cakey. Shaky, shaky like cakey? Yeah. Is it all coming in? So cakey will go up in the air and she's finger and then all of her spring poo comes out. Oh, is that on Gabby's doll's house? Spring poo party! Spring poo party! Do, 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 do. Oh look, there's just those two little lumps left. They're getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Mommy, for my birthday, Gone. get what I want. What would you like? Two thousand pounds. Wow. Um, um, That's a very lot. Um, it's a Gabby No House house, but you actually get to sink into it. Oh, really? And be, we're all like a Gabby cat. Right. Now, I was going to use the folder, but I can't find it. So you're just going to use that and you're just going to mix it together. This looks bad. Does it? I think it looks it's good. Look to me. Mixy, mixy, mixy. There's one more thing we need to add that I almost forgot, and that's a little bit of vanilla essence. Yum. There we go. I've greased the tin, and we're going to put half of this mixture into the tin. Yeah, because we need two halves, but like we were saying, I think one of the older kids has thrown out one of the tins when they've made a mess of their baking. I reckon that's probably about half, Sienna. Mummy. Tiny bit more. Um, I'm going to decorate it all by my own. We're going to decorate it with cream, um, strawberries mommy, and icing sugar. If this is how you do it, cream, strawberry, icing sugar. That's right. Cream, a lovely layer of cake, cream, icing. Mummy, I want to do quite a lot of layers. How long do you reckon that would take you if you had to do it with a hand whisk and not what? an electric one? How long do you think it would take you to actually with a hand whisk and not an electric one? Uh, hmm. About half an hour? Probably. Probably about right. into a bit of a team effort the making of the Victoria sponge. Sienna did the cake bit and then Felicity's just done the cream and decorating but that's all done. I was hoping to make scones today. Hadn't realised that tomorrow is actually National Cream Tea Day. Um, who even knew that was a thing? But apparently tomorrow the 28th of June is National Cream Tea Day. So it's not such a big deal that we haven't um, made them today. We can make them tomorrow on National Cream Tea Day and that would be um, very, very aesthetic, wouldn't it? But I'm just making some coleslaw for the barbecue that we're supposed to be having. I've bought burgers, halloumi. I picked up an Audi earlier on, some of these sweet barbecue pork kofters. They were 30% off, that's why I picked them up. And I was really, really looking forward to um, an evening barbecue at home. Make the most of the new garden furniture and the nice, um, nice weather. Only Jamie asked, over a month ago, at least six weeks ago, could he have a barbecue with his friends? And I said, yes, as long as you clean up and you're sensible. We've just gone out, opened the barbecue, there's still sausages from his barbecue, shriveled up on the barbecue. So now he's in the doghouse, he's been told he's got 10 minutes to get it scrubbed and um, I think Kev's got steam coming out of his ears because that is not not what we um, agreed to. No one talks about that bit of time between your kids finishing college and your kids leaving home and just how much fun it can be or um, not so much fun. Uh, but yeah, he's in the doghouse big time for doing that. And next time he says, Mum, can I have my friends over for a barbecue? I will say no. I will say, not a blooming chance, not on your nelly. Let's have a barbecue this afternoon. Let's make the most of the garden furniture that we've bought and we haven't really used yet. Um, let's make the most of the sunshine. And then it starts pouring down with rain. You can't even make it up. Kev's over here trying to stop the parasol falling, falling over. <laughs> what are you even doing? <laughs> we need some more slabs. We need to buy the actual things, yeah. But Kev's over here, he's got the parasol up, trying to um... <laughs> oh, there you go, the old gas bottle, that'll hold it down. 
<laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this, Sienna. I've got a very bad feeling about having a barbecue. Hopefully it's just a shower and it's just going to blow over, right? Uh -huh. There's still blue sky over there. That's over there. <laughs> think positive, think positive. I can't get the front there. Put that one on front there. Do it yeah, on the well, you have to step over this way a bit. You have to go over the next stem ones down. Put fingers. Flip it off. Oh, flip it over. Flip it over. Now push it across with this thing. That's it. Another one. Oh, you're doing it. Well done. Touch fingers. Great job. That's it. Put it. Yeah. Put that one on the front. Good. Oh, perfect. She's got a little knack there. Flip them on. I need to get this one right to the back so I don't need to burn yourself. I'll do these two. I'll do, I'll do one. Sausages. I'm going to have to move them over a little bit so we can do them. So then you put one bag of coal on. You should have put two on them. Oh, they're all weird. Oh, they're all going to need cutting up, Sienna. They'll all be attached. So you cut them up. <laughs> right, put them down. <laughs> you cut them up and you pass them to daddy. <laughs> longer because they're not really on the cold pocket there. Right, do you know what you gotta do? So you get it under, nice and gently, nice and gently. Make sure you get it under the burger. That's it. That's it. Now do it gently. Good girl. Do you do that one as well? So fall down the gap, so on the floor. Yeah, perfect. No, no, just they're not ready yet. What have you got there, Sienna? A heavy plate of food. A heavy plate of food? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Me excuse you. Me excuse Did you cook that all yourself? You look so lovely. <laughs> That's amazing. Jamie and Brooke are going to the beach and it's literally 10 degrees colder than it was yesterday, windy and it keeps raining. But we're hoping we can eat this before... Before the rain, there's coleslaw underneath that bit of kitchen roll. After you. And Bella, there's your favourite mayo. Go. There's not a lot left. Oh. Reese keeps eating it. I need to go first because I made it. You can go first because you made it, of course. Are these spicy? Um, no, they're barbecue. Barbecue won't have one. <laughs> they're barbecue flavoured. <laughs>